My name is Wayne McCrory. I'm a registered professional biologist in British Columbia. I've studied grizzly bears off and on for the last 40 or 50 years. Right now we're up on the mountainsides in an area between the central Selkirks on the north and Goat Range Park and the Kokanee Range on the south. This is a major grizzly bear cross valley corridor that isn't protected. Grizzly bears are very vulnerable for a whole variety of reasons. A female grizzly won't have a young until she's four or five years old, and then she takes three or four or five years to raise them, depending on the ecosystem and the food availability. And the other thing is that they cover very large areas. You know, they have sort of an internal memory map of where all the huckleberry patch is and where the salmon are and where the green plants are they can feed on in the summer in the riparian areas. And so they, especially in the interior, in the drier areas, they, they have very large home ranges. They utilize a lot of different habitats and in doing so, they spread huckleberry seeds through their scats. When they dig for glacier lily corms, you'll see fields totally dug up and that recycles the nutrients in the soil. When you go to the coastal temperate rainforest where they feed on salmon, studies by Dr. Tom Reimkin and others at the University of Victoria show that they actually fertilize the surrounding forest which is depauperative nitrogen. So here we are in the BC timber sales clear cut. And when you look at the edge of the clear cut, you see a big windstorm came here and caused all these blowdowns below the road here. And even a grizzly bear couldn't travel through here. This is, a, this is the way we're treating the land. This is the way we're treating a grizzly bear corridor. And there's more logging planned here too. It's just uh, like, how do you protect it? A year ago, the Bahala Society hired a lawyer, an environmental lawyer, and we're applying for a wildlife habitat area for this whole area that connects the Goat Range Park to the north and to the south to try and get some protection that still doesn't ex exclude recreation use, it can allow some logging. It's not even full protection. And then it has to go through a two or three year review process. So by the time that happens, there'll be more logging here and stuff. And so that's the challenges we face at, at a level. They're a keystone species. So by protecting grizzly bears and their habitats over large areas, there's all kinds of other species that um, you're protecting as well. Ungulates, mountain goats, um, deer, um, Roosevelt elk on the coast, elk in the interior. In this area, if this area was protected, it would protect the population of western toads and so on. So yeah, all the way down the, the great diversity, biodiversity would be protecting. People say, well, you're 81, why aren't you retiring? Why retire, you know? <laughs> There's so much to be done. And as I told my wife when she asked me, I said, well, you know, better to go down fighting, <laughs> which is what I, what I hope to keep doing.